So here we go with yet another slope application problem. Okay, let's take a look here. A medical office employs six doctors who treat patients. The number of doctors working in the office varies on a daily basis. The graph shows the number of patients treated in a day Y when X doctors are in the office. According to the graph, how many patients per doctor are treated in a day? Okay, now... When you take a look at our graph here, we see uh, Prescott Health Emporium, but it's important to pay attention to what's written on the axes, the labels. And I can see that my vertical axis, the one that goes up and down, vertical, uh, represents the patient seen. And my horizontal axis, the one that goes left right, represents my doctor's scheduled. Now, I just want to... Um, point out to you a few things about this question that actually make this simpler um, than other questions of its kind. So let's take a look here. What are we looking for first? So I'm going to go straight to this question. According to the graph, how many patients per doctor are treated in a day? Now, we're looking for how many patients per doctor. That's a rate of change. This is a slope application problem, whether they use the word slope or not. Now, some of you guys are like, oh, then I better um, start counting, rise over run. I better bust out my formula. And you could do those things. But this is actually a very simple slope application problem. What makes it simple is because I know this fact. I know that zero, zero is one of my points. Now, you might be saying, Kate, how do you know zero, zero is one of your points? We don't even have zero on this graph. Well, I know that if I had zero doctors scheduled, we would see zero patients at the clinic. Um, zero doctors, zero patients, and that each pa each doctor um, sees the same amount of patients each day, okay? Um, because I know that zero, zero is on this graph, it's really easy to find the slope or the patients per doctor. Now, all I have to do is do exactly what this little phrase tells me to do. Take the number of patients, patients, Blue is not a very good color for this already blue thing, is it? Patience. I'm gonna so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna per it. Per literally means divide. I'm gonna per it by the number of doctors working. Again, the shortcut works because I know that my graph includes the point zero zero. If it didn't include the point zero zero, I would have to use my slope formula or count rise over run. Okay, so I'm going to take the number of patients seen at any of these points and divide by the number of doctors scheduled. Now, you might say, well, which one of these points, which, which information should I use? And I say use whichever one looks easiest to read. So this point looks super easy to read to me because it's right on a corner. It's really easy for me to see that when there's four doctors working, I can see 100 patients. Okay, so how many patients per doctor is that? Well, that's 100 patients divided by four doctors, and I can see they're really pumping them out around here. They're doing 25 patients per doctor. 25 patients per doctor. And that is the answer. 25 patients per doctor. I'm abbreviating because I'm too lazy to spell. That's how you can tell a mathematician right there. Okay, great. If you have any questions about this, as usual, drop your questions in the comments.